It's a beautiful warm Monday morning. Our protagonist, James, is excited as it's his first day of secondary school. His mind is filled with mixed feelings, excitement, eagerness and nervousness. James walks into his new classroom to see all his classmates standing in a corner and gossiping away. Please sit on any seat in the front row, said the teacher, and please take out your reading book. Ten minutes later. Right, please put your reading books away, said the teacher. Plus, we have a new student today, James. Hi, everybody, said James. I would like two students to be his buddies for a week. Any volunteers? The class remained silent and several dropped their gazes. All right, then. I would like Edward and David to be his buddies, said the teacher. The rest of the class laughed when Edward and David groaned and eyed James suspiciously. The teacher said, that's enough. Let's try and set a good impression to our new pupil. Please take your geography book and turn to page 86 of the textbook placed on your desk. We are going to complete the China Inquiry. Two hours later. All right, guys, let's pack up and go for break. Edward and David, don't forget to take James along with you. Edward and David looked at each other and sighed. They were praying the teacher wouldn't remember. Come along, James. Said Edward. Edward and David introduced James to their friends. I hope he doesn't join our friendship group, Roy whispered to Amanda. He looks so different compared to us. I bet he doesn't even know proper English, whispered back Amanda. Um, James, was it? asked Danny. Yeah, said James. What do you have next? Um, I have English next, said James. Oh, he knows English. That's surprising, said Amanda. I bet you're in set four, James, said Amanda. No offense, but people from your race are always in set four. No, actually, I'm in set one, said James. Everyone stared at James. Yeah, sure, definitely, said Roy. Do we look like fools? Edwin and David pushed James to the floor. This is the reason our country is becoming a land of filth. It's because of people like you, filthy idiots, shouted Danny. James looked up at everyone's faces in shock as he tried to bling back tears. Go back to where you came from, you liar, shouted David. No one wants you in this world, said Amanda. James got up and ran to the other end of the playground. Every day, his newly made friends would cast dirty looks at him, making James feel worthless and unwanted. Every break and lunch, he would wander the empty corridors, feeling more and more depressed and lonely, running away every time he saw his friends. But... Is there a proper solution to this? First of all, don't take the abuse. Make sure you keep evidence. Discuss the issue with a trusted adult and then report it officially. Or you can call Childline. In a racist world, it is not enough to be non-racist. We must be anti-racist. 